Hi, so today I'm going to talk about a question some has asked me in the comment section, which is that uh, how to break into quant finance from a tier two, tier three college university. Um, it's a good question. Um, people talk about tiering of universities in India uh, way too much than they should. Uh, of course, there is uh, university ranking at a at a global level. Uh, but people take it a bit too seriously in India. If ranking of university uh, was to be given importance, then probably students from most Indian universities, including the IITs, wouldn't be given a chance to work in in the in, in the in the industry in, in quant finance because even the IITs don't rank very well, right, in global ranking. So um, yeah, so in in most part of the world, ranking is pretty much a useless thing. Um, even in the US, you see graduates from non Ivy League universities working in 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 quant finance. In London, I have worked there. I I've, I've seen most of the colleagues I have worked with. They were from non Oxbridge, Oxford or Cambridge background. So, um, but but. That's a bit different in India, and I'm going to talk about why it is different in India. In India, we have so many people, right? So many graduates being churned out every year. So the filtering process is a bit tedious, and therefore companies sometimes prefer, you know, candidates from uh, more elite university, especially at a fresher level. And that's with all kinds of jobs. Quant finance is not an exception to that. It's it's also there in software engineering, in sales, marketing. HR, data science, uh, you name it, right? In all kinds of jobs, sometimes people tend to give preference to the ones who have been to, you know, top universities. Quant finance is a very technical area, right? So you expect that people who have been to elite technical universities uh, will be preferred, right? So that's uh, something, uh, you know, you, you might have come across, but if you have a technical degree from not so elite university, Right? Will you not be given a chance? That's not true. Actually, you'll, you'll still can, you can work. In fact, most of the quants who work in India in in banking and insurance side, or even consulting side, are not from the IITs. You know, many of them are from. Uh, I mean, they may be from top colleges like ISI, Delhi School of Economics, or uh, NITs, but they're certainly not uh, IITs, right? So um, I've seen also graduates from state universities, graduates from state engineering colleges, private engineering colleges, working in the quant finance area. Quant finance is very broad, by the way. So it's not just about working at HFTs or working at asset management firms. For those roles, yes, there is a preference for uh, computer science graduates from top IITs. But then those roles are very limited. There's also just a handful of these jobs, right? Uh, even even though you are from IIT, you have done your engineering or you have done your masters from there, you could still not be hired uh, as a quant trader because because the competition is sky high. Even at even within that group, the competition is sky high, right? But that there's so many other jobs in quant finance which are not related to just trading, right? On the lending space, there's just way too many jobs, um, and uh, yeah, I've seen people with uh, all kinds of background you know many people from state universities like calcutta university or presidency university uh, hyderabad central university i've seen many graduates coming from there working many from nits and less known uh, colleges such as uh, you know state uh, engineering or technical universities many many graduates actually work in the quant finance industry but you have to look beyond you know the trading uh, quant jobs you know many uh, people reach out to me uh, they want to work in hft and and work as a quant trader uh, let me tell you let me tell you to disappoint you that there's simply not many jobs uh, in in quant trading right you may be smart it's just that there's simply not many jobs so what do you do right <laughs> so you need to look beyond um, that and some some students actually feel that okay you know that's the most that's the best part of quant finance the, to work in trading and and not beyond that uh, working in uh, in a banking setup is a bit boring it's maybe true but let me also tell you that you may be smart guy but so are so many other who are working in this field and uh, you'll be surprised how many 
graduates even from the topmost university the so called tier 1 university in india they even work at uh, in in the banking setup not at a trading firm right many graduates from iit mumbai they work at uh, jp morgan morgan stanley in city bank in mumbai and bangalore you'll be surprised to know that so it's not like just because you're from iit you'll end up working with two sigma or uh, citadel or gen street so that's not the case right so look beyond these trading firms right if you are from tier 3 tier 2 university if you look beyond trading firms uh, there are plenty of opportunities out there um and in a way i would say also it's a blessing in disguise if you don't work in these trading firms because i see a lot of graduates they burn out in a few years time and then they look for opportunity outside of trading right so in a way if you have an advantage of getting early experience in non trading areas in within finance that also uh give you a good head start to you know grow well and and even switch to other fields like more business oriented fields uh, quite quickly so career growth is quite good here so don't take it uh, in a very negative way right uh having said that uh, some uh, hiring managers do give importance to the uh to the uh, to the degrees uh, or the the ranking of the university you have studied in especially in india i have have never seen that in europe but i know some hiring managers do that in india uh, it's very unfortunate i don't like it my, my personal opinion is that this is plain nonsense but then this is what it is i mean if you are from a tier 3 university in india you can easily get into a tier 1 university in europe because the competition is much much less here compared to that in india right even to get into a state university like in your state capital right you have to score above 90% score in your class 12 right that's really high you are already bright student and just because you couldn't make to iit it doesn't mean that you are a bad student you could easily make to let's say university of uh, you know uh, some foreign university some european university quite easily which is probably rank much higher than the iits and they do lot better work than the professors in iit do so um yeah so keep that in mind but if you have that tiering thing in your mind right you'll always have this um low self esteem so go beyond that and that's also one thing i like to uh, mention to the engineering graduates if you're listening to me don't take this very seriously because this tiering thing is not there in in fundamental science or in liberal arts or in commerce in those areas but it's it's more of a thing in in engineering education and fine sorry engineering and management education in india uh, btechs and and the mba programs in india right and people take it too seriously and for rest of the life if people feel like okay we are from lesser known university tier 2 tier 3 universities so we are not that great enough and that's there in their brain for the rest of the life you will never be confident afterwards and then it will ha- uh, hurt your uh, career growth so don't take that very seriously there are countless people from these less known universities who have done amazingly well in all fields and certainly in in finance so yeah right uh, but there are also some practical advice i would like to give for example if you are from not so great university where you don't have you know companies coming over there for campus placement especially in quant area right? what do you do right but then even quant uh, companies don't go to top university sometimes for hiring right it, it, there is a bit of a disconnect also right in india because in india there is hardly anyone who knows about quant finance right this is pretty uh, niche area and and a lot of people even uh, are not very aware of it so they don't even invite this company for campus hiring so what do you do in that case first of all learn right learning is is the best thing learn your, uh, as much as possible try to do some side projects uh, read books if you can do some certifications that's amazing start with the basic certifications a more cheaper one uh, and then if you can later on do like the frm and cfa maybe a couple of papers of cfa uh, maybe even cfa 1 to begin with that will add a lot of value um because that will be a supplement right that will be an additional thing on your cv beside your uh, graduation is that a prerequisite no that's not a prerequisite but uh, you know more is better as they say 
right so um yeah so that's something you you can do another thing you can do is that you reach out to people from your own university who are in this field on linkedin you can easily find that right so do that research and reach out to such people you can easily find some and then just have a call with them if possible or at least talk to them over over a whatsapp uh, call or or just message them and ask them for advice ask them to refer you getting an internship is another amazing way to get into any field and certainly in in quant finance if you can uh, you know contribute to open source and you can write a paper maybe in your in your uh, last semester on on finance that will add a lot of value um and then find a mentor right uh, there are not many by the way uh, because most people in finance they are already having way too much work and they don't want to spend time with other things uh, but there are a few uh, you can find some on on linkedin but you can also find some on on youtube like myself for example but there are also few others if you can reach out to them talk to them for uh, for the advice it's always good like one on one advice because um your situation may be very unique right from rest of the crowd so so you need to get a very tailor made advice from the, from the mentor so um yeah do that and um, yeah the preparation that you do uh, will will help you gain a lot of skills which are transferable that means even if you let's say you want to move out of quant finance later on you could still use some of these skills in other areas within finance but also sometimes outside of finance right so these are some of the things i wanted to share with you if you have further questions as always let me know in the comment section thanks for watching guys and see you in another video